Hi, I'm Lori Dobson, and this is uh, September 28th, and uh, let's see, I've just listened to the debates between uh, Susan Collins and Sarah Gideon, Max Lynn, and uh, Lisa Savage. So uh, this is their second debate, and having run for the Senate, uh, myself as an independent candidate for Maine in 2008, I uh, ha have a lot to, it's, it's kind of interesting to see the debates that I was not allowed to be part of. And the only reason it's happening and the independents are getting, finally getting a chance to say something is because it's ranked choice voting. They never bothered to pay any attention to me. I, I actually broke into, uh, one of the debates between Tom Allen and Susan Collins and ask them both for one minute each, just before their final closing remarks. Uh, they would even allow me that. So um, it was not considered important. I was considered beneath them in terms of any kind of um, need to give me, show any, any respect for me, even though I spoke to 15,000 Mainers to get myself uh, basically all collected by me, almost all of the the signatures. Um, to make sure that they were all done properly because there's so many ways that they would have kicked me out. Uh, and they still were able to, but um, I got the 5,000, you know, signatures requisite requisite to to be able to get my uh, petitions in. And it took uh, the almost the entire amount of time allotted. <clears throat> and uh, in the end, they, uh, they, they kicked it out for spurious reasons and um, ballot access news said it was a bad, bad decision and they reversed it the following year. So, um, but that's the kind of thing that, that happens all the time to independents. Uh, Ralph Nader has uh, talked about the different things he's contended with, the unfairness of it. I mean, it's, he's, I think wrote a book about it. I, I just know that it's, it's, a, it's unique this year that Maine has got this chance, this real chance. And I think that Lisa Savage is a very good candidate. I, uh, I wish that, uh, you know, I'm watching her and I'm wishing that she would uh, hold forth more and be more passionate um, and break out a little bit more with some raw truth telling. Uh, the other guy is doing it, but he's he's showing that he's uh, really focused on himself and um, even more than the people. Um, he's focused on th them paying him proper attention and doing things to, to get their, you know, just, just to get headlines. Um, <clears throat> so it's uh, it's about the policies and, and Lisa Savage has stuck with those and shown that she would not be have to be beholden. But the, the thing that you have to do is to be an inspiration, be a speaker, be a force for change and be the driver. And so there has to be a sort of a um, a sense that you know who this person is and their who their uh, what, what their tradition is of, of, of why they would fight for for people what what gives them the um, unique um passion to lead and uh what what would what would what would the impetus be that would propel them into office what what kind of power could they kind of marshal um and and, and you know to have the stomach for the fight and to be willing to go head to head and toe to toe to have no uh lack of courage and i don't think she she does not look um timid in in that way and i'm glad to see that she has she seems to have the stomach for it, but she definitely has to come out strong uh, in that uh, and not be afraid to, you know, be be caught not saying the correct thing at any given moment. Um, I was disappointed a couple of times, so I think she hedged her bets. You know, you just have to truly, truly be all out there and, and to leave nothing behind. So um, I'm just uh, glad that we have this choice to, to pick the first candidate. And I think I, de I definitely would make her my first choice. Um, I have to say, I think that Max Lynn has, has nailed it as far as, you know, both the other candidates are, are definitely corporate candidates. And, um, and Lisa has hinted at that, but she hasn't really put Sarah, you know, in, in the same category. So I think that you have to sever those ties when you're an independent. You have to say, look, you know, I work with both teams. I'm not either one. And, um, and, you know, we've seen Bernie Sanders, you know, tell us he'd be his own person and then he acted like anything but. So, you know, would she toe the line? Would she have to toe the line that way? Would, would she just 
collapse into one party or another. And I would just say, you know, that's that's political death. And, and, and I would urge her to be her own person all the way through, forge a unique reputation. All right, thank you.